Hey guys, so happy spring. I was supposed to be making new videos and I'm sorry for the delay, I'm like three months, four months late. Well, three months since I was on vacation in January. I didn't want to come back. Yeah, it was really warm, but my vacation went well and I'm back to school and work and making part-time videos when I can. This is the day I can. And this is the spring look and Happy spring, unless you're in New York. Happy still winter. It's 40 degrees outside. And it's gonna snow. So, other than that, I uh, hope you liked the video. And I will be sure to make new videos. So, until then, enjoy this one. So, we start off with a basic primer. I'm using the Revlon. Just prime your face. I always have a moisturizer on my face before I put this on, just because my face tends to be dry during the winter well any kind of weather really and um, go on and do your foundation I'm using the Maybelline it's a mousse foundation so I'm using a sponge rather than a brush and I use a different foundation on my cheeks just because the mousse actually makes my skin a little lighter than actually normal and I just want it to be a little more yellowish it's a golden caramel from Revlon as well and I'm going to do my eyeshadow and use the coastal sense palette since it's spring you want to use a little color I'm using a pink pinkish coralish orangish I'm actually gonna use three colors to make it smoky but it won't be a dark smoky as before as I used to do this is a reddish orangish but it's a little lighter than the third color I use. Use it on your crease and on the edge. And then you go ahead and do the third reddish color. Red orangish, really. I think a red will be too dark. Same thing, just go over the other one, but not too much. I'm using brown just to use as the shadow part. Again, use over the red, so it's not that brown and it's not that red. So I just go ahead and then use a blending brush and blend everything in. If you want, you can leave it and it's going to be a little bold. But since you know, it's daytime, you might want to just blend it out and make everything look a little more natural. And I used the pink that I first used just on top to make a little more lighter since I blended it in a little too much and go ahead and do your eyebrows use the eyebrow brush eyebrow pencil and just do your eyebrows I actually did my eyebrows but it grew out again I don't know if you can tell hopefully not but yeah I use the little lighter to highlight my eyebrows it's like a beige whitish not really white but it's beige and just use it on the bottom of your eyebrows and use a blending brush to blend everything in again well just the top you might not want to do your eyeshadow again and go ahead and do your eyeliner I'm using the wet n wild um, black eyeliner it's a gel of course it's always easier to apply gel and I always do the wing first well, that's if I want the wing. In this case, I do since I uh, put my eyeshadow all the way to the edge. And you could just go ahead and fill it in. If you want, you could do it thick or thin. It really doesn't matter. I do it thick because I have really big eyes. And it just stands out a little more. Although, then probably wouldn't have gone with this color. Probably would have st stood out too much. So I use the L'Oreal Infallible just to fill in the waterline, I guess you could call that, underneath your eyelash because there was a little space. And go ahead and do the bottom eyeliner. I do it halfway because I'm going to fill in the other half with the eyeshadow. I use the pink that I first used as the bottom. And for my tear ducts, I use the highlighter that I used from my eyebrows and I used the pink a little just to blend it in. I used the concealer because well I have dark circles, acting scars, just cover it up a bit 
to your chin just so you can highlight it and the top of your nose and use the pointy end of the sponge just to blend everything in I feel like it's too much foundation but I'm using actually really light amounts so it's not heavy and I use the powder foundation from MAC just for everything blends everything in I'm using a bronzer this time it's a little easier to contour but you can't really see much since bronzers aren't really for contouring it's a little shiny so I use a different kind of contour it's just a little darker I use the angled contouring brush which makes it easier to apply and just you twist it on so it's just easy I use that I use it for the outside of my nose make it look a little smaller and uh, there's a highlight part of it which is a lighter tone and use that for your nose under your eyebrows on your chin and uh, on your forehead it's not much contouring but it gives a little definition I finish it off by using a sp uh, finishing spray and by elf and uh, the Rock Power Mascara. Use it on both eyes. I only did it for one eye. And I used a really light color on my lips. It's a peach. It's really light. But since it's spring, you want to bring the colors out. You could use this. Use a darker coral. I actually used the Color Whisper in... I actually forgot the name of this. But it's, it's not red. It's like a burgundy red. And I use it on the outside and I work my way in. And um, since it's angles, you use, well, you could just use the edge to outline your lips. It's easier than using a lip liner. And just blend everything in. And there you have it. There's your look. Hey, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Anything that I use in the video will be in the description box below. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you could always write in the comment box. Or if you know me, message me. Until then, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a wonderful spring break.